Hey guys, we're visiting a couple places in Berlin. Uh, one of them, where I am right now, is the uh, Berlin Technical Museum. And we're idea shopping. I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I do to try and steal ideas from other ideas and how to put things together. Let's take a look. I can see this used in a couple of different ways. This is this is a part of a um, of a television studio monitoring editing station, um, but uh, this is very science fiction. It's very Cold War. It's very lots of things. It's that uh, it's that uh, color that you see, and also these old monitors and this really cool old tech that makes it look that way. I can think of a lot of things to do with something like this. Look at this. It's a scale model of a television set. This is a standard telegraph key, and this is what's called a pointer telegraph. Instead of, uh, instead of having a more signal, uh, the signal would vary to make this pointer point to a specific character. That could be a number, it could be a letter. Maybe you see where I'm going with this, uh, about just shopping for ideas. Sailing ships and other uh, things that use me oh, mechanically uh, use a system of block and tackle or fangs. Uh, for uh, pulleys, basically, for mechanical reduction or multiplication of force. Uh, I have an idea. Right, behind me is an image from uh, Fritz Lang's movie Metropolis. We're actually at a, the film museum right now. Um, and Fritz Lang used something called the Schufton process. I want y'all to look it up and somebody's going to come back with a fantastic idea about how to use this for a game. Um, it involves shooting a scale model uh, in, an, in a mirror and then seeing a live image behind that. It's sort of like what we would do nowadays with a matte painting or digital compositing, but it's done live for real right then. So it's a, it's, it's a live action special effect that you film. But you could also see it through a viewfinder. Uh, Schufton is spelled like this. So look up Schufton process and, uh, and it, your mind will go kapow and then you'll go holy crap. All right, so look up the shift gun process, but as a means to sort of show you what that is, there's a star down here, and it's got Fritz Lang's name on it. Um, it's, a, it's a bronze star sitting in the concrete. Uh, so here's a shot of uh, my wife, Lena, uh, standing there and actually walking behind Fritz Lang. So inside this viewer, and this is awful, awfully like a, uh, like a first-person viewer for a drone, uh, where you stick your, your iPhone in there, uh, there's an angled beam splitter in here, and above here there's a slide of Fritz Lang. Uh, so Fritz Lang is then half transparent through the beam splitter, and I'm viewing through this thing out the front, and there's a, there's a superimposed ghost image of Fritz Lang inside. That's only one way to do this. So anyway, I think it's really cool, and somebody come up with some kind of badass idea, and just, and just tell everybody what you come, what you come up with. I, I want to see this. Comment. Everybody, everybody who watches the video, post a comment. I'll see you next week, and by that point, I'll, I'll actually be back in the States. See you then. I'll sit, tell Germany you said hi. <laughs>